Hey Chamber friends, I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to make a social post promoting your business that is totally free. Um, so I'm looking at one of our new members that I'm going to create a welcome post for. Um, and so I'm just going to pull a few different photos from her Facebook page and then pop them into a free template. So to create the design, I'm going to do it in Canva, which is C-A-N-V-A dot com. And I still have the free version um, that I totally recommend. And then I'm going to create a design and I'm just going to put in social media. So it's automatically going to pick the size for me. And you can see here there's tons of templates to choose from. And when you hover over, you can see that many of these are free. Um, and so when it doesn't say free, there's probably an item in that template that um, is paid, but very affordable. But I'm actually going to create my own. And I want to choose elements and grids because I want to use product photos. And so I'm just going to pick one that I think looks cute. So I've just picked a, f a, a photo grid. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to go to uploads and I'm going to add some images that I've downloaded from her Facebook page. And now I'm simply going to drag over the photos and drop them into these little squares. Um, when I click on the images, you can see a little bit that when I'm clicking on just one, I'm actually editing that one photo, even the whole grid is selected. Um, but you do want to be careful and make sure that you don't accidentally um, delete the grid or something if you're trying to take a photo out. So I'm going to click on this photo because I want to crop it. And I'm actually going to zoom a little bit so that we can see these up a little bit more closely. Okay, so I've picked three photos and usually I would drop a logo into the fourth or wherever grid. Um, but in this case, I don't have access to one. So if you're in the same boat, what I like to do is click on elements. Um, I have to close out of my previous search and go to shapes. And I like to put in a square and whatever the background is, in this case, it's white. I'm going to make the square the same color and I'm going to drop it over the last picture where it was so that it's hidden and now I'm going to add text and I'm just going to put the name of the business and I'm going to just place it over that white box so that it totally looks like I was doing it on purpose which I was and then you would just edit the text however you like there's a few different options as you can see the ones with the yellow crown are actually paid fonts so you can but there's still a lot to choose from that are included in the free options and I'd like to use pink for this one. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now that I have something that I like, and then we're going to click on download. And underneath file type, there are a few options. A lot of times it does um, just recommend the PNG, but if you were creating something for print, those are options too. And then I'm going to hit download, and it's going to download it to wherever your default um, download place is on your computer. And then I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to actually go to my page and I'm going to click on publishing tools and click on scheduled posts so that I can schedule this post ahead of time. And then I'm just going to drag over the new file and write what I want. And then under news feed, we're going to click schedule and choose the custom. You could also do the suggested, which is fine. I just happen to have set time slots that I like already. And then we're, if you want to, you could also hit stop newsfeed distribution if this was like a timely offer or sale, um, or if sometimes I do it for holidays. And then we're gonna hit schedule, and then we're gonna hit schedule post, and then because Facebook doesn't like us, we're going to hit the same scheduling again. there we go. So now I've got a cute little post that includes product photos and my logo um, that was 
totally easy to do in customizable and also done for free. And this took maybe 10 minutes, including the time it took me to record this video.